So children, atomic structure, ninth class, small discussion children. Atomic structure, okay. Atomic structure, ninth CBSC science. Okay, I am going to just uh, do uh, everything in one table, children, so that uh, whatever question you get, you will be in a position to answer. In one table only, I will do everything, children. See here, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, calcium. In one table only, we will do everything, children, so that you will not have any confusion. Please see here, children. Okay, children. So, children, atomic numbers first will write. What is meant by atomic number, children? Anyone? Atomic number means number of electrons or protons. What is atomic number, children? Number of electrons or protons. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. They are atomic numbers, children. Atomic numbers means number of electrons are protons. Okay. Number of electrons are protons. Okay. If you want, I will show you, children. How many electrons are there? How many protons are there? We will see, children. Hydrogen atomic number is 1. So, how many electrons are there? How many protons are there? Anyone? 1. 1. 1. Helium is atomic number 2. How many electrons are there? How many protons are there? 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, please see here, 11, 11, 12 protons, 12 electrons, 13 protons, 13 electrons, 14 protons, 14 electrons, 15 protons, 15 electrons, 16 protons, 16 electrons, protons and electrons are equal, that's why atom is neutral, protons and electrons are equal, that's why atom is neutral, protons and electrons are equal, that's why atom is neutral, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19 protons, 19 electrons, 20 protons, 20 electrons. Okay, children, the mass number. Coming to mass number. What is the mass number? So, children, mass number is for hydrogen, it is 1, children. For helium, it is 4. For lithium, it is 7. For beryllium, 9. 7. 11, 12, 11, 12 14, 15, 19, 21. You have to remember this, children. If you remember, it will be good for you. If not unnecessary, you will get confusion, children. So, my kind advice is please remember these mass numbers. Mass numbers will be double or double plus one. Mass numbers will be double or double plus one. What is mass number, children? Mass number means what, anyone? Protons plus neutrons. What is mass number, children? Protons plus neutrons. Protons plus neutrons. What is uh, uh, mass number, children? Protons plus neutrons. But if I want neutrons, what I will do, children? Mass number minus atomic number. Mass number minus atomic number. If you want number of neutrons, mass minus minus atomic number. If you want neutrons, mass number minus atomic number. One minus one, zero neutrons. Four minus two, two neutrons. Seven minus three, four neutrons. Nine minus four, five. Seven minus five, six. Six, seven, eight neutrons. 10 neutrons, 11 neutrons, 12 neutrons, 12 neutrons, 14 neutrons, 15 neutrons, 16, 32 minus 16, 16, approximately 18, <coughs> 40 minus 18, 22, 39 minus 19, 20, 40 minus 20, 20 neutrons. So, what is the neutron number? Proton atomic mass number minus atomic number. What is neutron number? Mass number minus atomic number. What is neutron number? Mass number minus atomic number. What is neutron number, children? Mass number minus atomic number. Now, configuration. Seeing atomic number, we should write configuration. What is the configuration for one, children? One. What is the configuration for two? Two. What is the configuration for three? Two, comma, two one. Comma one. Two, comma, two. Two, comma, three. Two, comma, four. Two, comma, five. Two, comma, six. Two, comma, seven. 2,8, 2,8,1, 2,8,2, 2,8,3, 2,8,4, 2,8,5. 2,8,5, Six. <coughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. 8, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2, 2,8,2,
these are configurations children. now these are configurations okay children so after these configurations now children what we will do now we will see number of children now we will see how many uh, what we will see means um, what is its valency we will see children what is its valency okay what is its valency hydrogen to go to helium it gives how many electrons children one electron it will give hydrogen to go to helium if it gives away one electron or if it takes one electron hydrogen should take one electron then it will become minus one this is two three uh, children this is a helium configuration is valency zero children neon valency is also zero children argon valency also zero because they are highly stable they have outermost completely filled shells why helium argon and neon have zero valency they will ask in exam you should write you should say that they have they are completely filled outermost shells why noble gases have zero valency because they have completely filled outermost shells completely filled completely filled completely filled because they have completely filled outermost shells why noble gases have zero valency because they have completely filled outermost shells why noble gases have zero valency because they have completely filled outermost shells okay children now uh, lithium children see here lithium is if it want to go to lithium if it want to go to helium it should give away one electron beryllium if it want to go to helium it should give away two electrons boron if it want to go to helium it should give away three electrons giving one is tough two is difficult three is very very difficult four is highly impossible that's why it will not give or it will not take rather it will share okay now in nitrogen instead of going it will go better to neon nitrogen to go to neon how many electrons it need children nitrogen to go to neon how many electrons it is in need three electrons two electrons one electron again sodium to go to neon it should give away one electron magnesium to go uh, magnesium to go to next one two electrons aluminum to go to here three electrons shared four electrons so phosphorus will come to argon children minus three minus two minus one zero and potassium to go to argon children it will give away one electron and two electrons okay potassium these are the valencies these are the valencies okay children how okay these are the valencies children when valency is changing what will change protons and electrons anyone when valency is changing what will change children protons and electrons anyone the electrons will change protons will not change because protons are present inside the nucleus they will not involve in the reaction so electrons will change now electron number will change hydrogen will get what number one to two it will enter it will get two okay this is two only three went to two so how many electrons are there now two three went to two four went to two how many electrons two five went to two how many electrons it have two this is having four only the seven went to ten how many electrons ten ten 10 this is having 10 only sodium went to neon how many 10 magnesium went to neon 10 aluminium went to 10 silicon remains there only it's shared because 50 will go to 18 so its electrons are 15 sorry sir 15 is going to 18 it's 18 initially its electrons are 15 no but now it is becoming 18 initially it is 16 no now it is becoming 18 initially it is 17 no now it is becoming 18 this is remains as it is because this is stable element right? Potassium 19 to 18 it will go, it's 18 and sodium also, calcium also 18. So electron numbers are changing. Representation of elements children, hydrogen after losing one electron, hydrogen after gaining one electron, it will become minus one. Okay, helium is zero. Who else is zero? Neon is zero. Who else is zero? Argon is zero. Why they have zero valency? Because they have completely filled out of shells. Why they have zero valency children? Because they have completely filled out most shells. Why they have zero valency children? Because they have completely filled out most shells. That's why they have zero valency children. Okay. So uh, lithium, what we can write? Li plus one. Beryllium, what we can write? Be plus two. Boron plus three. Carbon. Nitrogen minus three. Oxygen minus two. F minus one. Sodium plus one. Magnesium plus two. Aluminium plus three. Silicon. Uh, sulfur uh, minus two chloride phosphorus minus three children sulfide minus two chloride minus one potassium plus one calcium plus two like this they last you okay so suppose someone will ask you what is the formula of lithium chloride 
L I is plus one, C L is minus one. Thus, this cancelled L I C L. Okay, what is the formula of lithium oxide? L I is plus one, oxide is minus two. Two comes here, one goes there. L I two O. What is the formula of lithium nitride? L I is plus one, nitride is minus three. Three goes here, this color L I three L. Like that, you should be in a position to answer, children. So this is the entire box where we have how many electrons, how many protons, and how many neutrons are there. Everything I have represented in one table only, children. So this is valency. What is valency, children? Combining capacity of an element. What is valency? Combining capacity of an element. What is valency? Combining capacity of an element is called valency. Combining capacity of an element is called valency. Lithium will combine with one. Beryllium will combine with two. Boron will combine with three. Nitrogen three. So nitrogen, if you see children, nitrogen is ammonia. Okay, and like this, like this, like this. Oxygen combines with two H two O. You know it, no children, like that. So what is valency, children? Valency is combining capacity of an element is called valency. Combining capacity of an element, combining here, yeah. sit, sit. Combining capacity of an element is called valency. This is about atomic structure. Different, different questions. How you get? Okay, now coming to isotopes. What are isotopes, children? Anyone? Elements having same atomic number but different mass number. Elements having same atomic number but different mass number. Hydrogen, deuterium, tritium, uranium 92, 232, 235, uranium 92, 238. Same atomic number, different mass number. Chlorine 17, 35. Chlorine 1737, same atomic number, different mass number. Elements having same atomic number, different mass number. Elements having same atomic number, different mass number are called. Elements having same atomic number, but different mass number are called isotopes. Okay, elements having same atomic number, but different mass number are called isotopes. What are isobars? Elements having same mass number, but different atomic number. Argon and calcium both have mass number 40 only, but this is 18, this is 20. Different uh, atomic number but same mass number, they are called isobars. What are isobars? Same mass number, different atomic number. Same mass number, different atomic number. Same mass number, different atomic number. They are called isobars. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, children, anyone have any doubts? So, children, everything in one uh, single uh, box at all. Atomic number, electrons, protons, mass number, neutrons, configuration, valency. Electrons uh, after attaining the ions, electrons present in the ions also I wrote. Electrons present in the ions, ionic structure, and isotopes, isobars, everything I told in single uh, box, children. single chart, everything I told you. Anyone have any doubt in this box? You can ask. 